Hey everyone, welcome to Technical Voice. In the last video, we have seen that how we can uh, download or clone a, a repo in our local machine. So in this video, we will talk about the branches. So let me click on the branches and uh, you can see there is one master branch which is a default branch. So in Git, in GitHub, and Bitbucket, any other version control, even as your repos, uh, the default branch name is the master, or uh, it could be the uh, main. But there is already one master or one main branch, which is a default branch. You can see the root branch. Okay, so uh, so for further discussion, uh, we must know that what is branch so a branch is nothing but just uh you can say a pointer from the from the other branch okay so i have a very uh, good link open here uh, that i will add in the description uh in this link uh it's a very uh, detailed uh, content about branching so why we need branches what are the different strategies to create branches but in a nutshell uh I'll explain that uh, why we need the branches and why it is helpful but there is already uh, different strategies that can be uh, different for different projects uh, it depends on the size of the teams in which you are uh, in, in which you are working so for example if you are the only one uh, working on the uh, you know project then you may only need uh, one branch or two branches for example the one master branch and the other for the dev branch but if you have a, a bigger uh, team then uh, it depends that which strategy you pick so you can read about the branch strategies from uh, there but uh, if we talk about the branches uh, why we need the branch for example you are uh, you have a, a master branch and you are going to create some feature and uh, you don't want to uh, do on the mm, master branch or uh, on the main branch because it is a stable code so you just pull out one branch from the your, from your main branch and then work on that branch when you're done and you test it then you merge back into the master branch in uh, it helps to you, you can uh, to separate your things and uh, when the thing is ready then you can merge otherwise the the default or the you know dev branch is stable so uh, this is a concept of the branch and uh, it really depends on uh, how you create branch because uh, i have worked in uh, in very large teams where every developer is working on on his own branch and uh, when there is new feature uh, to implement the feature create a feature branch and uh, it actually depends where you are working and what is the size of the team so you can read about all the git branch strategies and uh, also it explain why you need branch so please read about it and then uh, you can uh, see my uh, next videos that will be helpful for you okay so how we can create a branch so for example let's say that uh, i have a new feature let me create a uh, one task then we can let me say uh, some task And you can say that uh, mm, add login feature and assign to this save. Okay, you can create a branch from there. If you click on it, create a branch uh, based on which branch and name your branch and associated work item there's one way and another way you can go to the branches and uh, here click on the new branch and you can say them based on master currently only we have one 
and I'm saying that uh, what this and I'm say branch or you can say word by term slash one or whatever you can name give the name and just create a branch okay so a new branch is created which is one so now we have two branches master and one so if i go to on my local machine and open the git bash here if i see what's the branch git branch so we have only one let me git fetch and then git checkout work item slash one and if i check git branch you can see we have two branches and we are on the work item one okay so now whatever i change in this uh it will uh affect the this branch not the master branch so in the next video we will uh, do some work in the work item one and then we will merge the changes into the uh, you know uh, in uh, from work item one to master one that's all for this video thank you very much